Aloha, welcome back to the channel. My name is Lee Scott. I'm a professional nature photographer based on the Hawaiian island of Kauai. And every year I lead photo safaris to Tanzania. In this episode, I want to share one of the stops on our photo safari with you. It's the Ngorogoro Crater, the UNESCO World Heritage Site. Consider this episode as a photographer's review of the Ngorogoro Crater. I'm sure if you've looked into safaris or if you're interested in wildlife photography, you've heard a lot about the Ngorogoro Crater. Some of it positive and some of it perhaps negative. So again, keep in mind that this is from a photographer's perspective. Throughout the video, I'm going to share with you photos and uh, video clips as well. With the photos, I will put information on what lens I use, the focal length of uh, that particular photograph, and hopefully that will give you an idea as to which lens may be best for you if you go to Ngorogoro Crater or if you go on safari. So the idea is that uh, not only will this video share with you information about the Ngorogoro Crater, we'll discuss whether or not it is indeed overrated or is it worth it, but it will also give you an idea as to which gear is going to be best for you when you go on safari. We'll also give you a tour of the Plantation Lodge, which is one of the accommodations that I like to stay at when uh, I'm at the crater. All right, uh, without further ado, in Goro Goro Crater, I hope you liked the episode. If you do, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. All right, we'll see you. Take care. Aloha. In Goro Goro Crater, one of the modern seven wonders of the world or the natural wonders of the world unesco world heritage site ngorogoro crater overrated ngorogoro crater oh there's so many safari vehicles ngorogoro crater it feels like a safari park ngorogoro crater is world class Next time you hear that Ngorogoro Crater is overrated, just nod your head, smile, and know that it is actually like no place on earth. I've had the opportunity to do two game drives in Ngorogoro Crater. Both were outstanding. However, yesterday's game drive in Ngorogoro was stellar. The big five before 1 p.m. maybe. Not only sightings, not only sightings, because as you know, sightings are important for me, the experience is important, but we're going for the photography. So quality photographic opportunities of the big five. Leopard, Cape Buffalo, Lion, Ellie's, Big Tuskers, and the Black Rhino. Wildebeest being born, wildebeest taking the first steps, Thompson Gazelle, Grant Gazelle taking the first steps, loads of zebras, a beautiful crown crane, birds of all shapes, sizes, varieties, spoonbill, flamingo, zebras, zebras playing in the water, zebras drinking water, zebras being reflected in the water, big male lion, black mane male lion, smaller male lion, two cubs, and a lioness.
sure I'm forgetting others. Oh, yes. Let's throw in a caracal. So we had a three cat day before 9 a.m. How's that? Yeah, in Gordo Gordo Crater, overrated. Next time you hear that, just smile and say, yeah, I guess so. But know that if you go and you give it time, you're going to have an absolute wonderful experience. Now, I will be honest and say that yesterday's game drive benefited from cloud cover. The only time that we actually had a really difficult time photographing the animals was with the lions. Other than that, we had the beautiful morning light that the crater offers every morning until, say, 9 or 9.30. So you got to get there early. If you're going for photographs, get there early. I'll get you there early. The other thing with the clouds, it gave us the opportunity to really enjoy the day without being too uncomfortable, without having too much heat. Yes, it is dusty. But coming in February of the calving season, we get a little rain, so it's not nearly as bad as what it would be in the dry season. One other aspect of Engordo Gordo Crater that we often fail to recognize is the sheer beauty of the crater wall. Coming down the crater, the verdant wall, clouds moving in, fog lifting. There's so much to this location than just the wildlife. So yeah, I guess it's overrated, but by whose standards? It's incredible. It's incredible, yo. All right, I just wanted to add that. Just to let you know that next time you hear and go to go to crater, overrated. Just smile and say, yeah, I'm sure other locations are better. But know that if you go and give it, give it a good go, get there early, work the crater floor hard, keeping your eyes open, waiting patiently, good things will happen in this place, I promise you. Lodge Forest Right. Welcome, Karibu. So, this is a guide room. Guests on the photo tour will, of course, stay in uh, one of the suites or one of the garden rooms. But what's so special about every room here at Plantation Lodge are the beautiful Lanai's. And, of course, the grounds at this lovely old coffee plantation tucked away in the Karatu hillsides above in Goro Goro Crater. It's about a 30 minute drive from here to the crater entrance where the guide will get our permit stamped and from then we'll descend to the crater floor. So it's a 5.30 a.m. departure when staying here at the Plantation Lodge to get us to Ngoro Goro Crater Permit Gate right when it opens at 6 a.m. <laughs> 